Chicago, Illinois. Lake Michigan, 240 boats and over 2,000 competitors. Two days of starts to see who can get to the waters of Mackinac Island the fastest. The Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac presented by Wintrust is 333 miles of freshwater racing, the longest in the world. Chicago Yacht Club is 146 years old. Uh, this is the 112th running of the Mac. On many of those boats, there are multi-generations doing the race. It brings together people from all walks of life, all areas of the sailing community from literally around the world. It is on everyone's bucket list. And so it's a, just an extra special race, which is at the core and heart of the Chicago Yacht Club. So in many ways, this race celebrates what all of us have been all about for the last year and makes this race extra special. So thank you all for coming back. The Mac is back and we are excited to have you here. Fire the hole! This year's premier sponsors include Omega and BMW, with their products prominently displayed on shore for the VIP warning gun and race parties. The loyal title sponsor being Wintrust. At Wintrust Bank, our goal is to be Chicago's bank. So we are so grateful and proud to be partners with great Chicago-based organizations like the Chicago Yacht Club. And not just for the parties like we have now with the Race to Mackinac, but also for the events that we do throughout the year, whether it be lunch and learns about financial literacy or community impact events like the special needs cruise that we did together just a few weeks ago. Crews docked their boats all along Lakeshore Drive, including the Chicago Yacht Club Monroe and Belmont stations. There they prepared their boats to the safety standards required by the regatta organizers, picked up their yellow brick race trackers, and attended final weather briefings before the starts began on Friday. This game day is not the only Coast Guard unit participating, but I will be happy to accept this on behalf of the Coast Guard for helping this race get off the ground and get underway. of the 240 boats start today. The cruising division has three different sections, cruising three, two, and one. Cruising three will be the first off the line. Included in this first section is Perception, a gaff-rigged hair shop owned by Brian Smith and chartered by Ron White. This is my 25th uh, race to Mackinac, so this is my island goat year, and a bunch of my race mates over the years and guys I've competed both with and against all committed to doing my 25th with me. We're like a group of brothers that actually get along. We've been doing this together for years. We love to compete. We're doing this for the experience. Next off the line, cruising two, with everyone pushing the line a little bit more aggressively. Elixir is a Catalina 400 deep keel out of St. Joseph River Yacht Club. Cruising section number one will be off the starting line last today with everything ranging from a 39.1 foot Beneteau 40.7 Broderi all the way up to Whitehawk, a Bruce King 104 catch at 104 feet long. Lake Michigan is a real unique, a fabulous place to race. This is my 49th Mackinac race, so I've raced on everything from 30 footers to this. This boat, you know, in relatively flat water, just, uh, you know, glides along, just a beautiful, you know, it's like sailing a piece of furniture, really. It's a big, heavy boat, but once you get it going, it, it loves it. You know, big waves would not be good for us at all, but with the conditions that we're looking at this year, we should be fine. Another boat starting in Cruising One is a Beneteau 40.7 Broderi, owned by Bob and his son Josh, representing the Chicago Yacht Club. One old goat and one who is about to be. Well, it's my son's 25th race, which means that 
he will be inducted into the Island Goats Sailing Society, uh, otherwise known as the Old Goats. Uh, I think you'd have to be crazy to have that as a goal. I've made the mistake 24 times before and I'll probably make the mistake again, uh, but it'll be great to be with a great group and my dad. And for me, after I guess it's 34 or so, I'm calling this a day. And this will be my last match, so hopefully it'll be a good one. On Friday, the majority of the participants began their day with final preparations. 200 teams donned their burgies, battle flags, colors, and performances to celebrate each and every one of their stories of what got them here to the starting line this year. Dr. Alice Martin and her pink color five. This is the Benetton 36.7. Friday starts, there are 17 of them every two minutes for the rest of the fleet. The first off the line, the double-handed boats. There are four of them, including two J88s, a Seascape 27, and a Beneteau First 27 SE. Lots of drama on the Section 9 start. There's a Mackinac Trophy and a Mackinac Cup. This year, the small boats will be racing for the trophy and the big boats racing for the cup. Peeled off at the start, 6869 is Cynthia, a Morgan 41 from St. Joseph River Yacht Club. They'll be spinning around to try that start again. And the Express 27 called Air Force wins the start. One of the smallest boats on the line. Just like yesterday, the breeze is up from the north, northeast, making this a very long upwind slog. The next start is our first one design start, the Tartan Tens. They are a big deal here in Chicago, and there's 12 of them out here on the line today. Included in this fleet is Island Goat Express, owned by Gene McCarthy, and they have earned that boat name. My name is Gene McCarthy. I'll be sailing my 66th Mackinac race, Chicago to Mackinac Island. My family does race with me. I have a daughter and a grandson that are going with me this year. Well, the only time we, we get together is when we do an offshore race like a Mackinac race. Otherwise, they each have their own sailing programs. Next off the line is Section 8, a big smattering of many kinds of boats, lots of yacht club members, and lots of visitors. Another one design fleet about to start the Beneteau 36 sevens and they are treating this starting line like it's a windward lured buoy race today. Port tack is certainly the long tack today and bow 247 is painkiller five from the Chicago Yacht Club. Another one design fleet, the J105s. J-boats pride themselves on being cruisers and racers. The Mac is the ultimate test for that design. 424, Flying Pig, port tacking the fleet. Next off the line, section seven in the Chicago Mac Trophy Division. Boats of all different shapes and sizes. The J109s have their own start, and Goat Rodeo, starting closest to the boat, is our overall winner from 2019. Eight starts down and nine to go. Next off the line are the Beneteau 40.7s. The boats just keep getting bigger and bigger. One of the Beneteau 40.7s is Warrior, with veterans from all of the armed forces on board. 
When you leave the military, you kind of lose your, your place. You, know, you have this specific job that you fill, a specific role, very similar on a sailboat. You know, you get given a position on a sailboat, and they say, hey, do this. This is your job. And I think all of us kind of you know, take the mentality of, you know, I want to be as, as good as I possibly can at this job. And you know, when you have that entire crew of people doing that, you know, it, it comes together pretty quick. And you're like, OK, we, we, maybe we got a shot at this thing. So Sailing uh, since getting out has really gotten me back into the camaraderie. Like, you miss that, that you know, you know that other guy's got your back or, you know, they're going to do their job. And they're not, you're going to follow down. And just even above sailing, it's just, you know, like you said, we've been buddies ever since we started sailing together back in Annapolis years ago. And sailing brought us together. So it, it's more of a, even just, you know, how personal it is and the connections you make. And there's nothing like, you know, just getting that adrenaline rush when the winds kick in and the bearing the bow and the, just being out in nature and just being away from everything else, being, being out there. the gun for the Section 4 Division. Eagle's wings tacking out at the boat. A grand soleil from the Chicago Yacht Club. J111s get their own start. And as of Section 6, we switched over to who is racing for the Mackinac Cup. Santa Cruz 70 from Bayview Yacht Club calling this is the line. Only 10 seconds left for section two. The second to last start of the cup divisions. Fishtails doesn't like that too much on Ohana, but 25168 striped. Another Santa Cruz 70 clean off the starting line. The last of the Monahal division starts is the TP52 class. A Pack 52 and a Max Z86 belonging to Oak Cliff Sailing. One of those Trans Pack 52s being Bob Hughes Heartbreaker from Makatawa Bay Yacht Club. You know, first one of the island winds, and tomorrow will certainly be challenging. It's upwind, and these boats like to do that, but the wind's certainly going to be variable. and when to get next to the shoreline and when not and when to stay away from it will be kind of key decisions and the people that make the best ones will will definitely ring the bell and get out in front so you know it's I think in the morning when we see the wind to see how much it is out of the northeast we'll have a big decision on when to be on port for starboard and and then how close to get to the Michigan shore I don't think we want to be there late at night but you know I've been on the shore and seen people out in the middle going by me and I've been in the middle or farther off and see people on shore zipping by so you just never know but that will be great and, and the Manitous will be spectacular as always and there could be some in play there whether to go inside or out but you know, normally you go inside but it's not a better place to sail it's beautiful up there and always look forward to that moment. For some boats they'll be finishing in a couple of days for others their adventure could last up to six days. Good luck everyone out there we'll see you at the other end.